Welcome back everyone. Today we're in the Giants Editor and I'm Jewel and as you can see we got this area here we're going to be working on. Uh, I had the church down at the bottom of this hill or at least the building I'm making a church into. This was the farmer's market. Um, the one we showed that was a different one than the Elm Creek one and this is the storage area we did that could be changed. I'm not sure yet but for now we're leaving it. And we're putting the church up here on the top. And we're going to have a parking lot here. For now, I'll put down asphalt for the for the ground uh, texture. And this is a building that's basically like a fellowship hall or what have you. They go eat or do activities. And this will be the parsonage. All right. So we're going to put it over here. So let's go ahead and start working on this part still got to adjust some of this out here I'm trying to make it where this looks better on the top of the hill and I sloped the hill but I still got a little sloping to do as you can see I got some more work to do here so I might try to do that right now let me see let's put it on the square brush check all this Okay, and it should be on smooth. Yep, right mouse button. Let's just knock that down right there, right here, and over a little bit to try to get a proper slope for the road. And we may have to do a little more over here, as you can tell. It's a little up in the air. Let's try to situate it a little bit better when they come down this hill. All right, let's hope that's good for now. Not bad. Okay, so now let's do this parsonage. We're probably getting rid of the fence. Let me see. Pick the main group of this. Check around. Anything else highlighted? No. I think I've already du duplicated this one before, but let's let's pretend and go ahead and duplicate it because. Let me see where that's at over there. Okay. Let's control D and duplicate it just in case I don't have an extra one. Because I like to keep one extra in case I put it somewhere and then place this one. Alright, so now we're going to click on here, the main group. And we're going to bring it up. Twist it. We're going to put it at zero over here in the Y rotate area. And that straighten it out to the road. And slide it over. Kind of center it just a little bit. And we're going to get rid of the fence. So let's click on the fence. I don't want the fence. And hit delete. And then we'll come on down. And have a look. At the ground. That don't look terrible. But let's make sure. Okay, this is under the ground. Okay. So we gotta fix all that or we may not have leveled this yet. Let's let me let me level it. Alright, you're gonna click on the sculpt mode. We're gonna click put this on replace and then left mouse button. You'll watch these replace numbers, they're gonna change. I'm gonna hover over the road because that's the level I want. I'm gonna hit control R on the level I want. And then when I hold down the left mouse button because it's on replace, it's gonna replace to that level. See how it went down? And I'm going to go past it a little bit back here and make sure I cover all of that area, not just some of that area. And come back up to the road. Now I'm not going to hit it all the way up to the road because the road is not all flat. Some of it starts to slope. So I don't want to go all the way up. But it should at least take care of some of this. And then we can go down and look. And you can see the garbage cans are now pretty close to right they're still going to need to be picked up now what we're going to do now is click on the house see it's got that one showing so all that's showing so that part th there is right um, and I want it to be on flat ground I wouldn't have garbage the house having a slope in this particular instance so let's click on the house 
and let's see what happens if we raise it up. I don't think that's going to help us any. Well, maybe a little, yeah. I didn't realize that much of that wasn't there. Okay. Well, that's good. Then that should have took care of the garbage cans for us. And this should be okay. It's a little high. Let's lower it on its own. And again, we can decorate later. And if we don't want this stuff, we can move it. Or we can add more stuff. It really depends on how we want to decorate later. For now, I'm just lowering it. In case I do leave it, it'll already be situated. And if I don't, I can delete it or whatever. I don't even have to leave it in the spot. I can just move it later. But right now, I'm not interested in all that extra stuff. I'm just putting the place down. So as I can say, here's the place and moving on. We're not decorating right now. When I get ready to decorate, I'm going to go th through the whole thing, every place, step by step. So basically, wherever I start, say if I started over there or over here, and I start here and I just go each one and do whatever decorations I need to do. And then I'll know that I got everything. So, this one is under the ground. Whoop, undo. You got to make sure you click the whole thing. Let me see. There we go. Alright, that's the whole thing. And we'll bring it up till it just touches the ground. Sometimes they're tilted, so if you'll go look at this other side, it may be floating a little. But it looks okay, so I'm going to leave it. Alright, that looks like it's maybe under a little bit, so we can lift it a bit. Not too much. Sometimes it's hard to get it to go exactly where you want it. This one needs to come up a hair. Alright. And looks like this is... Uh, yeah, it's floating. And we'll bring this down until it touches. Roughly. And we gotta bring that way down. Oh, we got this way in the air. So they would basically want you to have the ground go up to there. Or we would have to add stairs to go up to there. Or some sort of deck or something. I'm probably going to leave it. Let me see. Well. All you would do is bring the ground up and then slope it. If I can find some steps, I'd rather not slope it, though. That's the thing. But I may have to uh, if I can't find any steps. Oh, these are up, too. See, I don't like that. Because I didn't want this one um, up that high, either. Now, if I do make a deck, it will be great, because then you can have a deck out here. I'm going to hold off on it. Later I'll decide if I want to slope it and make it make reach the door or if I want to put a deck or steps or something. So I'm going to hold off on that. I'm just going to put this down for now. Uh, try. I wish I could get a whole group. I don't know why they separate that. They should put that in a group. But anyway. Anyway. As soon as it touches, and then get the chair soon as it touches we are good anyway I appreciate all the new subscribers welcome to the channel if you're new to the channel I do tutorial videos on a lot of different things I do the uh, work in the Giants editor show you how to do things do XML work uh, for in notepad plus plus or whatever explaining things how to make things work uh, so check out my videos on that if you want. I have some gameplay, simulator uh, gameplay. So check that out on the channel. And if you're new, consider subscribing. Uh, helps the channel grow and you can hit the notification bell and stay tuned to when I post a video. So working on the map, as you can see, got a lot going on. Uh, we're going to be doing roads and fields at some point, hopefully sooner than later. 
that's the plan anyway uh, unless I come up with some other thing I need to do first um, but for now I've got most of this part built out it's not finished and I'm fixing to have a lot of field stuff going on I uh, got a lot of decisions on that to make then we're gonna have trees obviously gonna be spread out all over the map and uh, make some decisions we got the waterfall over here we got to deal with again and pretty much we got most of it set up we got a lot of roads to fix as you can see we're not finished with none of that and the roads obviously are just painted for now there will be done differently uh, on some of them some of them will be painted but we're gonna go ahead and finish up right here we're gonna grab this I think it's already Oh, we already grabbed that one, so we're good there. We did all these. I think we're good. Oh, those are the ones we didn't do. I'm going to leave them floating until I decide, like I say. Because uh, if I lift it up, then every bit of that's going to stay. Unless I just move it all together. And then this stuff's going to have to be moved if I slope it, uh, you know, depending on how far I slope it. But as you can see, this goes right down the hill after that. So when you're coming up, you're going to see the house and then the church and the back of it. So it looks pretty good right there. I might probably going to make a cross to put maybe as a top of here or something or another. I mean, it kind of already has what looks like a cross. It's obviously not. Uh, it's just a building for the farming, uh, a farmer's market. So we'll see. And this one's just like a storage which has these doors on the back, which it won't let you just move those. You would have to do something different if you wanted to change that. Uh, so, but for now, let me check out what I want to do with some of this ground. Because I'm going to have a lot of trees back here. So I'm going to try to, I'm trying to smooth this to where it looks nice. And that trees would just, we can put all across here. And that it'll look good. Keep all that smooth down a little bit. There we go. So now, you know, I don't like nothing being too too steep, but yet that just don't look right. You know, I like it to look like it's coming down a hill. Give it a little bit more of a slope. Plus, if you're just going to cut grass on it later, I want it to at least be doable, kind of, sort of. I mean, obviously, you can mold the ground or whatever. And that's if I even finish the map and release it. This was just for me, really. and uh, But I'm willing to let others do it or use it if I finish and tur it turns out okay. Not against it. All right. Well, there's a little bump there. I don't particularly want knock that down. Getting a good angle here. All right. And we're going to have trees all back here probably mostly. I want them to be near the uh, sawmill that's over there. If you're new. If you're new, uh, I have a video. I, ha I have been mostly doing map making in here. But I also, some of that pertained to playing the game in Farm Sim, obviously, because it's just for Farm Sim. So I had made a, a little map I messed around on, and uh, I had made a bunch of stuff in Blender. So if you want to check that out, it's on the channel. It has apples and watermelons and the, all kind of different balls in the, in the video. Just stuff I made in Blender. Just something for fun, just messing around. Something to take a break from strictly working on the map so I made that plus since I hadn't been posting any uh, like simulator videos I'd done that just to break up the map making so much but uh, I'm gonna try to do some other ones different things but just something for fun you know so have a look at that one if you hadn't seen it give it a like watch it and you can see all the different things I made uh, I, most of it I made there's a few things this that I didn't make obviously there's probably like four things I didn't make, potentially, and the rest, all the rest of the things I made uh, in Blender. Let me see. 
So we pretty well got most of this with enough stuff here. Some of it we're going to just be adding our decorations and trees to. There's the trailer park or the mobile home park. We'll obviously be making a lot of signs. This is going to be a farm. There's going to be, this will be situated a little. We may slope it some more. There will be fields potentially around it. Then this will be situated. This has got to be molded right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do some of that. But we'll do more on this. This may change completely, like if I add anything or whatever. Just depends on what I actually do. Everything changes, but I like to keep it kind of sloped in a certain way. I don't like a lot of sharp edges unless it's specifically going to be something that would be sharp, you know. If it's if it would be, I, I like to, to do that. But now the hill looks better. Let me see if this little spot needs anything. I think it needs a little bit right there. Just a little. Alright. And I don't think there's anything else I want to add right now to the church parking lot. This is obviously going to be a way in. I guess we would have it painted back further. Let me paint this. Uh, click on here. I never finished painting it. So let's do that. And then we'll take and get on to the grass. Control R as in Richard. If you hover over the grass, you can click it. And then you can get the grass texture without doing all that. Going over to the list and everything. It's hard to get it straight. This thing wiggles over. and One way you could do it, if you're in the right spot, is make this... Uh, this here bigger depending on what you can do it if it don't go over some other grass area and then when you do it you can click once and you would be able to get the whole section straight but it depends on what's on this other side for you but if you're new to the map making just take your time and learn step by step little things and then you know you're not you're gonna know everything instantly and I don't know everything still so um, but you'll learn more and more. And then some things become obvious after you learn some of it. Sometimes once you learn a little bit, you just look at it and you just know without even knowing. Like it's just suddenly it makes sense to you. And then you just start figuring out other things that you wouldn't have really known. Uh, and you just figure it out because you knew two or three other things. So just I encourage you just to, to learn and uh, don't give up. You can You can get this stuff done too. But I think that's going to be it. We're going to put something else here. Um, like I said, I was going to put a cemetery off down here. So I may, this may end up being a more of a, we could make it a full cemetery. Potentially. So we could get rid of this and make it green or grass. And we could just make this whole area down here a cemetery. Potentially, if I want to, if I want to go through the trouble of doing all that and making that in Blender, or, or if I find anything I can put there, but you know, we'll see. If not, we'll always be able to add whatever we want. That's the good part about map making is you can decide one thing and then change it, and then you usually as you go, you come up with something better, so you eventually get what you want. I'm trying to situate this for a second. Alright, now we're going to grab this. Control R. And hopefully paint, paint pretty straight. Not, it's kind of difficult. And uh, again, the road is going to be done later so it's not final. So it's not needing to be perfect. So that's good enough for now. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And I think we're about done with this one. I don't think I can't think of anything else right off that that I want to add uh, to the church area. I think about it. I mean, obviously we'll be adding parking lines, but that's part of like decorating. So I'm adding that in later um, type deal. Some of that may even we may even take some of that back. If we have to, we'll move this 
this over a hair and take some of that off because I don't really like them sloping that on a hill but I mean technically you do have that where it does do that with it with asphalt on a hill so I mean I could and that should be plenty of room for them to turn this curve so let's knock some of this off the this back side here potentially just square that up a little bit but we're going to go ahead and hit save and I think we're going to be good for now on this part I think we got to lower this building though let me see if it went all the way down no it did not so we got to lower this down to meet up with the door area right here okay so let's just put it as low as we can without going too far I think that looks good and now we're done with that then we'll put a sign here that tells us whatever we need it to tell us and I think we'll have plenty of room to do a lot we can have stuff for them in their backyard and it, we can either put trees all right here so it looks like it's a church all over and all these trees are all around it you know but I think that's going to do it for this episode I don't want to go too long but now we have uh, the church now I didn't show all that moving this I might not even have lowered it low enough let's go ahead and lower it I didn't move it uh I don't think I've moved it on sh on video that I've that I'll be showing. Uh, let me see. Let me see what that did to those. Huh. So that's floating. Interesting. Well, I thought I smoothed all this. Let's check and see. Let's grab the road texture and see smooth it out I mean replace rather I don't know why I said smooth okay so we're gonna have to lower it I think no it went up yep yep that's good good enough anyway all right Oh yeah, there was a trigger um, that we deleted. I don't know if I showed that. But anyway, the trigger I deleted that was for that. So it's not going to be no kind of sell point here. Just because this was a farmer's market. Alrighty. So now, we're going to come over here and turn this way. And there is our parsonage and the church. So, but anyway, I'm going to call that an episode here. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye, everybody.